Hi, my name is John Nicoba Crosby. I'm from Los Angeles, California, born and raised, and I am a personal trainer slash boxing coach. I've been knowing CJ for about six and a half years now. Yeah, a long time, long time. It, it was just like luck and just uh, a blessing to have found CJ. I was working at 24-Hour uh, Fitness, and um, I started to evolve and do my own thing um, as far as boxing training, and um, the gym was getting jealous, and I had some insiders say, um, the management is gonna come after you, um, so you might wanna look into getting your own gym. So I had a buddy of mine find uh, CJ, and I went down there and I talked to him and K-Flash, and uh, it's been magic ever since. Uh, the Cobra came from um, my boxing. I've been boxing uh, for 13 years now, and um, it came from my martial arts background. Um, I studied Jin Fu Do, and Bruce Lee uh, always talked about taking on the form of an animal. And the way I strike and the sound that I make and my speed um, just came, the cobra came to me. I stuck with it. It's been just with me ever since. Well, Roy Jones inspired me because he, he had so much fun doing what he did. He was the fighter of the decade in the 90s, and that's when I was growing up. And, um, and he, just, he just was a, a true entertainer and um, he promoted himself, I appreciated that, and uh, he was a showsman, and um, he was someone I looked up to and wanted to be like when I, when I grew up. So as soon as I got out of high school, I went right to it and studied him like people used to study Michael Jordan. When Michael Jackson come on, that beat drop, my legs starts moving. It's first my legs and my head, and then my body just dance all over the gym. They, they didn't know what to do when, they, when I first came in there because I have my own playlist and I, I started playing Michael Jackson and I was dancing all around the gym. I can't never stop dancing to Michael Jackson. So I ended up coming up with a routine and a workout to a lot of his songs and um, just to pay tribute and homage to him because him and Roy Jones inspired me to be someone great and um, I put two of them together, dancing and boxing. As Soon as the song goes off, they be like, woo, woo. So they don't even know that they're working as hard as they are because the music camouflages the workout. And that's, that's how I work out. I, I keep a pace with the, with, I keep my pace up with the workouts, with the beat, and it allows you to push because you're not actually worried about a number or worried about how much time. You're just wor worried about keeping that pace to the rhythm of the music. I was training for a fight, and uh, it was supposed to be in San Francisco, and um, the fight didn't go through, and I was training like very, very hard. And uh, it was close to Christmas time, and since I knew no one was getting scheduled to fight no more for the rest of the year, I just went ahead and stopped so I can enjoy Thanksgiving and Christmas and my birthday. And by me stopping, it's offset my body, and it so happened to be the worst cold season of the year. And uh, I caught a cold. And normally I can shake it by working out and you know and everything, taking vitamin C, but I couldn't shake this cold. And um, I ended up getting real sick, and you know the mucus got greener and greener, and it activated my asthma. And it activated my asthma. And last thing I remember, I was Monday, and I was throwing um, a little late night circuit for my friends. They would come and work out. I would train them um, to to keep them in shape. And last thing I remember, Monday, next thing, a week later, I wake up in a hospital, um, tubes down my throat, and everybody looking at me. And yeah, it was, um, it was a crazy moment. That was um, a moment that I will remember because Sometimes you gotta go through things in life to really see who has your back. And no matter what, you know, we wasn't talking for like six, eight months. And we had our differences at the time, but when it was all said and done, they dropped everything, everything, to come see me at the hospital. And when I found that out, I just broke down. Um, it meant a lot. And, I'd do anything for them guys. 
another person that was there <laughs> was Henry. I woke up and seen him smiling, so that meant a lot too. Yeah, and always been a family atmosphere from the start. Like I said, I've been on CJ and K Flash and for years. And I know Henry, I went to school with his family. So it's always been a family, but you know, sometimes family argue and sometimes family get into it. And that moment just really just showed you like your family should never break up off of just off of um, misunderstandings and different point of views. You know, we should always come together at the end and that's what we end up doing. He got me. <laughs> he got me. To be honest, um, CJ, me, and K Flash came up with this course a long time ago. Um, CJ and, and K was one of my first sponsors when I, I wanted to go back into boxing. And um, they did their homework in, in coming up with a program to get me in the tip, the best shape ever. So K Flash calls that the Cobra workout that we actually put in these clients through. We just all came together and made it so much bigger. And when they was going through it, I knew how they felt because I've been there to where I want to pass out and, and run to the bathroom and just give up. But uh, they came through and they stuck with it and I, I'm just proud of all of them. It's nothing you can't accomplish, nothing you can't do. I was in a coma for seven days in a hospital for 10. I was on bed rest for three months and I, my lungs completely collapsed and I've made it all the way back here and I was able to do everything you see me do now through not wanting to give up. So it's nothing you can't do. Stay strong and I'll be with you.